Well, today we have here what is this device that we are going to be able to recover in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial we are not going to use the PC. We are going to use a method completely without a PC. For those people who always watch our video tutorial and want to solve what is the problem of recovering their device. In this video tutorial we are going to use a totally different method. An updated method, what are we going to do first? Well, as we can see here on this side of this little padlock. We can see the little padlock that is here, ah, uh, it is because our device. First of all, was locked with a screen lock and what we did was reset it. We formatted it and it was locked with that little padlock. Now it no longer has it. It also has the screen lock and it also has what is the Google account. How are we going to do to be able to recover our device? Okay, let's go to our Wi-Fi network first. Let's go in here, uh, the Wi-Fi network. Let's hit jump here, we connect to the network. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi network, first, uh. Let's take a tour of the device before starting to do the first process. The recommendation is always to watch the video tutorial step by step so that you don't miss any of detail also what we want to tell you that in the description of the video and in the first fixed comment we have another totally different method for those people who want to apply other additional methods can see in the description of the video and in the first fixed comment we have that method so that they can solve and recover their device as we can see our device has a screen lock which we forgot, we changed what was the password and after a while we had forgotten it. Here we can see that we can use the Google account. That's why it's always recommended that when we create a Google account, write it down, write down the account in a notebook with the password. Because if we forget the screen lock, here with the Google account we can recover our device. Adding the account and password. Here we can see that we have the email here the phone number. Here it says add phone number or email. In case we forget the email we can enter with the phone number. The phone number. That's why I always recommend that when you create a Google account it is advisable to add a phone number. Also add what is an alternative email. What are the alternative emails? An email that is not. That you do not have on the same phone. That you have additional. It can be from a family member. We create an email. We add an alternative email that also with that alternative email we can. Recover our device by sending a code that would give us. Access to our phone. Here we can see we get the option to forget Gmail. Here we can write anything. Here we are also going to write anything here. Here we are also going to do the same. We write anything here we are going to click here this. We are going to do it for about 30 seconds. Then after those 30 seconds we are going to do the following. We are going to do after those 30 seconds we are not going to go back was back. We go back to click back. Back, 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 back here. Previously we could enter here in policy and privacy. We could enter from this point here we would get the policy option. Here here we could enter previously but these. Functions are no longer working, it does not let us enter. In any way here we can see that we have me.com. Here it just turns around. Turns around, it takes us to the same settings. It takes us the same and it lets us enter nowhere. Here we have a Xiaomi account here either. So that said that it no longer lets us enter anywhere we go back. 
Back and here we have emergency call. Here in emergency call we are going to dial any. Emergency number here we are going to click here in contact. We select contact here we are going to select. Any number here we are going to select. Message ready message here previously. It also gave us the little camera but now it gives us the little camera here so that it takes you to this option we have to have what is a SIN card whether or not the SIN card works. A we are going to add it here then what are we going to do we are going to write www youtube youtube.com we write dot com now as these devices are updated it now lets us enter here previously we entered here and it let us enter youtube now this function is disabled but it still works what is this url here we can see the url we click here it takes us as the device has the latest update, it still allows us to enter from here. If your device is outdated then what I recommend before entering YouTube is to deactivate the Wi-Fi network temporarily, enter and then activate it. Give it the ball or usually a little nut will appear. You are going to click here if it appears outdated. Then I recommend you format it and enter again. We click here in settings. Here we select the accessibility option, controls. Here we click here on the blue letters that appear here. Controls blue letters, blue letters. Now we are going to enable accessibility menu. Here it is, accessibility menu and that's it. Edited that accessibility menu, here we can enter here. Click here and click here in the second option. We click here and we are going to say open Google Maps. Open Google Maps or open Google Maps. They will say it according to your language that is. The phone menu here it would take us to this section. We are going to click here we go to click here on the location. We give all the permissions to this location we select. Any of these that appear here and we click here on share. Here it can take us to Google Chrome. Well before going this we are going to click here. We click back. We are going to click the ball. We are going to click here in settings. We click here in notifications. We give all the notifications. Okay, now we click here on location. It's already enabled, we click here on accessibility, we enable this menu. Google Assistant, here Google Location. Here we're going to click it says all, the three dots. Show system here it will show us what Google Play services are. But this function is no longer working, Google Play services no longer work. So we go back, it no longer works. We're going to select here, we're going to select Google. Chrome, here it would take us to Google Chrome. Use without a Google account, no thanks. Here we're going to write the page. Our official page called Davicel. We click on it, it will show you how our page appears. Here just as you see it here. Then they will write, we select this one that says Davicel or Android TV. In some cases it usually shows Android TV. On some devices, we're going to click here, we understand. Here we will be able to find many methods. Different methods we will be able to find here. We go to the last option here we will be able to. Find this entry that it says here apps Davidel. It's the one we're going to select. Ready, here we're going to be able to find other totally different methods. Totally different and we're going to go down. We're going to go down here we're going to see. If it lets us enter the head apps application. We're going to see if it lets us enter here from here. 
We're going to see if it lets us enter from here, head apps. We're going to give it direct access here. Here we can see that it already lets us in. So if it lets us in here, we will write here Google Google. We will write Google. We will click here on access here. We are going to add what is a Google account or create a new one that gives us the option to create or add. We are going to add one. I am going to add my personal account. Well, we add it. We click on next here. We are going to wait now that the Google account is synchronized here. It was synchronized as we can see here we can create one this is an alternative account that i have added so what are we going to do here we are going to click here where it says manage account we select manage account we are going to select here the security option being here in security we are going to do the following we are going to go down and we are going to synchronize we are going to look for our device here it will appear first here my will appear first we are going to click here all devices here it is, where it is, here it is, here it is. Search. Here it will appear, we are going to click here, we are going to click here on lock device. We are going to click on continue, here we are going to add again the password, ready. Now it's done, it's added, here we're going to write a password. I'm going to add four letters here, four letters. We click continue here, it's optional here, we're going to add any phone number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 that are 10 and we're going to click. Here ready request in. Protection request protection. Now we're going to click here where it says reset device. Erase, let's see. We click reset, erase, reset, erase. Now that we've done this, we're going to press the power button. Volume down button at the same time, power and volume down at the same time. We release the volume down button, hold down the power button. We hold down the power button. We will wait for it to start. We wait a few seconds for it to start. We release the power button while holding the volume up button. Now we will wait to enter what is recovery mode. When we enter what is recovery mode, we will go down here where it says wipe data. Factory reset with power, we select go down. And we give it where it says factory data reset. Ready, now with power we select. Now we will wait a few seconds until our phone completely restarts to then finish what is the configuration and recovery of our phone. When it restarts what we are going to do is to be able to configure it when we are going to do the following. That is why it is always advisable to watch the video tutorial step by step so that you cannot miss any details and you can solve what this recovery is i am going to pause the video for a moment since this always usually takes two to three minutes well since our device completely restarted we are going to finish being able to configure it we are going to click next now what what we did the google account that we added there on that device would be synchronized in this device that's what we're going to do. We're going to add the password for our Wi-Fi network. Ready now, what we're going to do is wait for our device to start. Let's wait a few seconds when it takes us. We're going to add the same account that we synchronized on Google. We're going to synchronize it here. They're going to be synchronized. When we add it, it would give us access to our active disk. That's why it's always advisable to watch the video tutorial step by step so you don't miss any details. 
If you missed the details I recommend you return the video tutorial so you can apply it. Well since we added that email with our password. Let's wait for it to take us here. We click here where it says use Google account and now we're going to add that Google account that we added on that device. Ready we added and as we can see that little lock has already been removed. Now it would give us what this access is. We're going to click here on skip we're going to click on skip. We're going to click here on skip again we click on skip. Now here we accept, we accept, we click OK. We are going to wait until it takes us to the next section. We are going to wait a few seconds, we click here. We wait a few more seconds, we wait, we are almost there. We have completely recovered our device, we wait, we are going to wait. You know that we also have other totally different methods. Both in the description of the video or in the first fixed comment. We have left a different method for those people. Who want to apply both the method by PC and the method without PC. Several additional methods as we can see. See here we have our device totally ready. Now what we can do is configure it.